What's going on guys today? We are at Martin Mayor, as you can see. There's a, a lot of people here. Oh, well, there's a fair number of cars here. It's a lot quieter than it normally is, but let's uh, jump into the video and see what we can find at Martin Mayor. Hopefully, there is sightings of kingfishers. Tawny Owl, Short Eared Owl has also been um, sighted at some point, and I'm hoping to catch any one of those at all. And obviously, Anything else as well is always a bonus, so let's see what we can find. Obviously there's two goals going mental up there. <laughs> but let's uh, head in with the camera and everything and see exactly what we're going to find. So you join me at Reese's Hide, which you can see here, there's a lot of stuff. It's only a small hide, but uh, the wind is absolutely whistling through here. And uh, there's a lot of swallows and stuff out over the lake which you probably can't see, but I'm going to try and get some in flight shots of them over the lake and stuff. And then we'll move on because there's not really a lot going on right now. So I'm hoping to get to a position where I'm hoping to see the short eared or little owl if they're about. I've been to where the tawny was sighted last. I don't see it anywhere, but fingers crossed, maybe it'll come back later on in the day and we'll get it. So let's jump into some shots that I've already got and uh, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. So I'm actually right around the other side now. Um, one of the hides is like right over in the distance over there. We are right around the other side of Mountain Mere now. As you can tell, it's windy as Ken, which I'm hoping isn't gonna ruin the video too much. But yeah, it's um, quite dead at the moment. There's not a lot of movement. It's about, what time is it? 10.25, so I've been here just just under 45 minutes. I've seen a kestrel go whizzing by in the wind. Um, seen a couple of swifts, swallows, house martins, that kind of thing. Um, also a red crest and a fire crest, but didn't manage to get photos of them. They skidded before I could see them. So that was a little unfortunate, but um, I'm really just hoping very, very soon, that we get to see something big, something different, because I am now in the area where the barn owl and the short ear, uh, eared owls have been actually sighted. And then just over the way, over that way, there's a bit of a warehouse where, or a set of greenhouses, which last time I was here, someone spotted a little owl flying and hunting in the field through the binoculars so I mean who knows what we're gonna see but fingers crossed and I'll uh, come back to you guys with an update I uh, suffering badly with hay fever plus the wind and the sun today allergies are uh, all over the show <laughs> with how windy it is I just thought this video isn't ruined by the wind I have got this little condenser mic and stuff with the uh, uh, wind sock on it Fingers crossed that's enough to give us decent audio throughout this video, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. So, as you can see, I'm actually out in the field. There is a marsh harrier just over here flying about, of which we just had one come right by me here. It's literally flown from over there where that other one is, and it's flown right across in front of me. And I've actually gotten some of the best pictures I have ever gotten of a marsh harrier. They are I would just look at the back of the camera. They're absolutely, absolutely pin sharp and they are incredible sharpness. You can see the eye, you can see the detail. That's just looking at the back of the camera, man. I cannot wait to show you them. And I got a whole series as it went by and absolutely amazing. There's an set making a lot of din just here, as you can see. <laughs> and yeah, obviously the wind's going like mad. Um, but I, I couldn't be happier, man. I, I came for 
obviously hoping to see like the owls and stuff over here where that big like warehouse is over there the big um, thing there's a short-eared owl been sighted around this area there's a barn owl been sighted around this area there's been hobbies um, sighted around here as well and obviously marsh harriers there's about six or seven pairs of them at Martin Mir, and I've just gotten some absolutely incredible shots I can't I, I couldn't ask for more So I've just finished in the uh, Tomlinson hide. We're now back out on the opposite side of uh, Martin Mir, walking out over the fields again. And there's really not a lot going on now. And I'm just aware of the time. It's now 11 o'clock. I need to ideally find myself a place to sit and eat dinner, but then also I want to sort of be leaving here by about two o'clock, so I'm gonna get round to the other hides as soon as I can. Um, Janet Keir and Ron Barker and a few of the other ones, Harrier Hyde, and just see what's about. I wanna ideally spend a few hours or an hour um, back Ron Barker way just for the kingfishers potentially that might be there. If they're not there, um, I don't mind. In terms of seeing the owls and stuff, I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled for some of them around here. And then also, as we get back into um, near Romberg, the tawny is, has a nest box there. So uh, yeah, like I said, I'll keep my eyes peeled. If anyone else sees anything, then hopefully I'll be able to tag along and grab some pictures, but is what it is at this point. Obviously we've seen the Marsh Harrier. We got really close with that, which is really awesome. Um, can't wait to actually get the pictures on the big screen and have a look but honestly it's just nice to be out today has been really good to get out it's very windy though as you can see by my hair <laughs> So as you can see, it's turning into a beautiful day again. And it's very windy still, but it's turning nice, or nicer for sure. Um, we've just had a buzzard go over with a couple of crows and a seagull and some other stuff attacking it. Unfortunately, the hide, which you can see over here behind me, just there, that is a United Utilities hide and that one is shut at the moment. I'm not entirely sure why, but the last couple of times that's where I've actually sat and had my dinner in that hide. Um, I looked out for kestrels and other things hunting over these fields, which I've just had a look where the tawny was reported. Um, and it doesn't seem that it is there currently. So gonna have a look at Ron Barker and that way and see whether we can see anything in terms of the tawny owl. At this point, a short-eared or a little owl or um, the barn owls is kind of out of the question, I think. A short-eared's probably the one you'd see the most in the daytime, but uh, I'm now in the wrong area, I think. But I want to try and get some kingfisher shots and some other stuff as well.
so welcome back to the office um today was a really good day in terms of the images i was able to capture hopefully they all come out i haven't been through them yet but you know some of the ones looking on the back of the camera look absolutely incredible especially the mesh harrier the little woodpecker that I was able to get a couple of times with the pre-capture mode as well some kingfishers you know, we ended the trip on some kingfishers and a natural woodpecker in the woods on a tree, which then flew off, and I managed to get some photos of it, you know, before it took off, as well as as it was taking off, and then it went into the trees, so I couldn't see it anymore. But the fact is, we got woodpeckers, we got the marsh harriers, we got a buzzard, we saw the tawny owl, which is the disappointment of a lifetime, because... We saw the tawny owl, and as I looked up and saw it, its wings were open, and it took off and disappeared into the woods, and I didn't see it again. I went to all the places after the fact where I knew it had been spotted before. I kept my eyes peeled and didn't see it again. So clearly, the noise put it off, and it decided that was it. I'm going, and that's just how it is in bird photography sometimes you do have to be very very careful you have to be very quiet at times and depending on the bird they can be very skittish so i managed to get some photos of swallows i think or swifts i've managed to get obviously the woodpeckers the marsh harriers a couple of other things as well and i really enjoyed my day it's been a really good day it's just a shame it had to sort of come to an end soon and the unfortunate thing about Mountain Mirror is it's only open half nine till five. You can't really get in and around the area when you would want to for, you know, things like barn owls and, and owls in general because they hunt during the evening or during the day if it's wet the previous day or whatever or the previous evening. They hunt quite late, so you don't really get to see them, especially in the summer months, which means I'm going to have to make some trips down to Mountain Mirror when it's pretty cold and stuff like that to try and get them as the sun's going down and stuff like that depending on where i'm going to be who knows but in the future obviously i'm going to do more trips to mountain mia i'm looking at going to my side next week and another one as well which i'll put up on the screen they're fairly close to us i'm not entirely sure on what we're actually going to get there but who knows it's one of them go and try it see what happens i want to go to Leighton moss as well that's one on my list that i, I really want to go there so it will be a trip in the future hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video if you did smash that thumbs up button subscribe for more if you are already and i'll talk to you guys in the next one